Hi, I'm Bar from My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop, and I got something fun to show you today. What is that? I know, this is huge, Looks right? like a bias maker no, or whatever. No. This is a belt loop binder tool attachment, and this goes on my serger. Whoa. And you can see how it's gonna fold my fabric, and look at that mm. point. Oh yeah. So I got the big one out so you could see it. Nice. And it, I've got the smaller one on here, so this one's an so inch and a half. So you can get two different sizes. Yeah, you can. They come in separate boxes. They do, this one's a three quarter inch. And of course, they come with all the instructions. <gasps> that you put in your yeah. book for it inspiration. Tells you, tells you how wide to cut your fabric. Oh, it All does. Right. It does. All right, so I've attached it on here with the two little screws that come with your machine. And this table is made for that? This is my sewing table. Okay. Yes. Okay. And this comes on what machines? This what is the Triumph or the Accolade. Or the Accolade. Okay. So I'm going, I've got it set up for a um, wide cover stitch. Okay. You have two needles. I have two needles in there. Okay. All right. So I've cut my fabric at a one inch. Okay. And I've got a point on it. First of all, what are you gonna do with a belt loop? What do you uh, think you're gonna do with it? I'm not gonna sew close. <laughs> no, me neither, <laughs> me neither. You could do it on a bag. You could, it could be a strap. And I'm gonna feed enough in there that it's going to be under the needle when okay. I start. Because okay. I want that to grab it. I'm gonna put Good my idea. foot down. So what are we gonna use it for? You could do a... You said a lanyard. You could do a lanyard. Okay. You could do a uh, bag... Um, you could do a bag strap. But look right here. I used it as a binding right there. Oh, really? I have. Oh, well, that's a cool. cool idea. That is a cool idea. You can have two needles in. You can have three needles in. It won't even matter. Oh. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to carefully... I think it's not feeding. This is a... This is um, saving lots of times if you do this. It does. You showed the ruffle that you put right on your clothing yep. or whatever, pillow. And now you could do this to make a strap. If you had to iron this and fold it and oh, yeah. fold it again. Yeah, I refuse. Oh, totally. I don't, I, don't, I don't enjoy that. I don't either, but look what this is doing. Because I burned my hands. This is so pretty. I really, wow. really like this. And you'll find new ways to use and this. And it's going right on the very edge. Yep. I've lined it up with my needle. See, my needle points are right there. Oh, Because I'm okay. using my two outside okay. needles. So I've lined this up to match that because I want my needles to fall in just that one spot. So I can adjust it around. And maybe if I don't have it in the right spot, I might want to adjust and adjust and get okay. it where I want so it. So practice. definitely run a test run. And I've used two different colors of thread so you can see how that's going to come together. Oh, and nice. And see, I probably would have centered it a little bit further this way. Okay. But that shows you what you can do. You could have it either wider you or could. narrower. You could. Nice. There you go. And you adjust, you adjust it over here with these, yeah, right? Yeah, I can loosen those screws and I can move this around. Okay. And that's where I get where it's going to be. Okay. Kind of fun, huh? Sounds good. Okay, thank you.